rest is when you abide in the presence of the Father. But you can't get into His presence if you don't walk on the way. It is the word you hear that cleanses your mind. When your mind has been cleansed, your life is holy. If you are not taught who Christ is, you cannot live an effective Christian life. There is no other honor greater than that of sonship. Worldliness is the trap that enslaves men to the devil. Relationship with God is a gift. Fellowship is a choice. The true expression of divine love is forgiveness to others. What you pursue is an expression of what you desire. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand, notice, to stand against the devices of the devil or the wise they mean tricks for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places verse 13 therefore this is the armor now take up the whole armor of god that you may be able to notice he's saying this for the second time second time take up the whole armor of god that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand stand your ground putting on the belt of truth stop there i'm teaching on the full armor of god chapter one the belt of truth and during this teaching series by the holy spirit instructed me to take us in a teaching series on the armor of god that a believer must put on so with this is chapter one the belt of truth now the scripture began by painting a very a reality that many christians are ignorant of he said stand strong in the lord and in the power of his might in other words if you fall it's not because the lord was weak it's because you refuse to stand i want you to understand this we have been mentored and, and tutored and trained by a wrong doctrine to blame god satan or powers for our fall but i've come to understand by scripture that if a man falls it's not the fault of god because bible testified if you faint in the day of adversity then your strength was small it's not your enemy that was strong it's what your strength that was small i understand me he says therefore stand strong in the lord and in the power of his might and having done all to stand he now says put on the whole armor of god now what i see there he says put on the whole armor of god in verse 13 that you may stand on the evil day he said two things number one he said put on the armor of god that you can withstand the devices of the devil number two put on the armor of god that you may stand on the evil day so number one the armor of God is the spiritual are the spiritual instruments by which a Christian can overcome the devices of the devil. I think we have that in verse, um, verse 11. Ephesians 6 verse 11. The armor of God are the spiritual instruments through which or spiritual well, it still goes, instrument goes through which a christian can overcome the devices of the devil ephesians 6 verse 11. now hear me there is one reality that many of us do not want to accept spiritual warfare is real he said we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers against the rulers of the darkness of this age now he now says for you to be able to withstand all what you find in our days he said put on the armor of god now it did not say god god will not put on the armor for you he said you should put on the armor of god which means it is your decision and your responsibility to put on the armor so if the devil comes listen to me i have realized most of the time there is a mistake we make in the church nowadays we become too focused on the devil and the strength of his kingdom listen to me the strength of satan's kingdom is useless when he confronts a christian that has the armor of god so do not focus a lot on 
the power in your mother family power in your father's family there are powers everywhere but the bible says if a man can be equipped with the armor of god there is no device of satan that can work so as a child of god my my emphasis from now is to place a focus is to place a focus on putting on the full armor of god he said be careful therefore because this armor is what is required to stand so no matter how good you are no matter how pure you are there is an attack from the devil against your life and your only hope to overcome in that battle is what not the armor the full armor of god so god has prepared spiritual instruments through which we can overcome the devil and god calls that the armor of god nobody goes to war unprotected they will win you so it is important by that the holy spirit really wants the christians to come into the knowledge especially in this church he wants us to come into the knowledge and understanding of the relevance of the armor of god too many things are happening which ought not to happen and the reason why they happen so much is because there is an absence of what understanding of what is required to stand number two the armor of god is the spiritual equipment that enables a christian to stand on the evil day ephesians 6 13 he said put on the whole armor of god that you may be able to stand on the evil day the armor of god is a spiritual equipment that enables strengthens a christian to stand on the evil day the truth is that there will be an evil day but do not focus on the evil day if you have the armor you will overcome there is so much of fear of satan fear of witches fear of powers and the fear of powers being preached in the church is because many pastors themselves do not have the knowledge and understanding of the operation of the armor of god i am teaching this so we can enter into this understanding that there is a way a man listen to me satan is not all powerful every attack of satan can be overcome when a christian understands what is required there is no attack he cannot overcome are you following me now so he says put on that armor put on that armor so on the day of evil it does not matter what the enemy plan the worst thing that can happen to you is for the plans of the enemy to take you on away that's when you're in trouble so if you have put the armor and you are prepared listen to me my god let me shock you there are pastors you find standing there are pastors satan does not understand because they have programmed their deaths time and time again and nothing happened to the pastor listen to me there are attacks that came to our lives and we do not even know because because we were under the armor the attack was just useless matter of fact the attack of the devil that truly has an impact on the christian is the one that takes him unaware and unprepared in battle oh agenda my mother died it can happen finished but when it took you unaware unprepared i agenda my mother that next thing my mother is sick it is entering i want you to have understanding today that the devil is not all powerful god has not abandoned his children at the mercy of satan satan is coming satan is coming then what he said the devil come he said peter satan is coming for you but i have prayed for you satan is coming jesus did not bind satan he prayed for peter because he knew that satan is not a threat to a man that has put on the armor he is not a threat let us stop listen to me it is wrong in these days after the sacrifice of christ to so magnify satan you know before in the old testament there were strange laws if people fornicate god said kill them he died they kill for fornication in fact somebody took firewood on the sabbath day eh? they kill him in fact in the old testament if you are stubborn and rebellious to your parent god said they should kill you the question is why let me explain to you in the old testament because jesus had not died 
to pay the price for sin when a man was possessed by a demon the only way to handle it was to kill him but after the death of christ and the penalty for sin has been paid men now have power over satan so it's not the same like before so the same powers that attack men they can attack us we overcome listen to me i don't listen don't live in a fear of satan of charms of witches you begin to say if you walk if you are walking and you see a red cloth bend your head that's that's nonsense when i'm preaching fear in church if somebody come to your house i want to enter and tap his leg three times check oh, before you enter on the left if you like you tap three no matter you enter i will welcome you you will know that you entered fire but when we live in fear listen to me there is fear for everything fear on dream fear on report fear on feeling fear on sight it's as though god is so helpless god is not helpless it is christians that are faithless and faith comes from understanding and knowledge on the evil day listen somebody will tell you now i dream about you is that fear now good dream on a bad dream well, I'm a good dream on a bad dream. Now, me, I decide what will happen. I want you to have that understanding that Satan cannot just choose to come and impose something on your life. He does not have that power, especially for those who are born again. They cannot come and impose their death. Nobody can make any charm anywhere. And he can never touch me. He cannot. Not because the charm is not powerful. That when it comes to my realm the charm is powerless it is listen, listen listen no i don't want you to listen i don't want you to clap for me i want to show you who we are remember that if that devil came in your dream and slept with you it's not because they are strong it's because you were there without the armor i want to prove to you and show you it's not because they are powerful in my mother's family girls don't marry the ones that are still caught up are the ones that have not understood how to employ the armor to take advantage and get victory number three the armor of god are the spiritual weapons through which a christian can obtain victory in spiritual warfare second corinthians 10 verse 4 the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty true god so we have weapons people of god we have weapons that if employed victory tell somebody victory is sure i'm not hearing your voice I so much of fear so much of fear so much of fear no don't go enter that house because in that house they were doing charm there if i enter the house it is my fire that will destroy the charm that, what i carry the charm is useless with what i carry it's not charm. do you understand what i'm saying it's not charm that it is me that threaten them there are weapons listen to me there are weapons in our warfare so if at all you know people say what about this other christian they attacked him he, he prayed though that he died he just say, hey, hey mr video no listen to me anyone that fell in battle against satan is the one that was not properly equipped with the armor the only reason why a christian can fall in the midst of battle is because he did not properly equip himself with the armor he said put on the whole armor and with that he said you can withstand everything whether they throw which attack cancer hiv kidney problem liver poverty no matter curses no matter terms no matter the attack he said with the armor victory is sure the weapons of our warfare are not carnal they are mighty true god which means god uses those weapons to fight on our behalf people are praying oh god fight for me it is if you don't have the armor god can't fight for you so never allow it and tell you that's what the other man be talking oh, they die no i'm teaching you now any christian listen, take note of what i said any christian that fell in the midst of spiritual warfare is the one that was not properly equipped with the full armor of god there is no body the bible does not lie there is no power in in earth on in hell that can overcome a christian forget about studying the nine kinds of witchcraft put on your armor no matter the kind of witchcraft that come you will withstand don't tell me about the ranks of demon no matter their rank when they come you are under the armor you will stand Forget about their rank. Forget about where they dwell. Equip yourself. God says, I've given something to my children. 
So, many of us in church, we are refusing, please write down these things. We are refusing to use the things that God has kept for us. So, in those weapons now, God began speaking weapons and the first weapon he brought was what? The belt of truth. Now here he said, this is what he said. He said, fasten. Notice the word fasten. Tie. He said, fasten. Bind yourself with the belt of truth. Notice now, the first equipment on the armor is what? Now I am shocked. It should have been the sword or the shield. No. Why the belt? We'll get there. Number one. Notice he said fasten also. It means what? Tie it. In Proverbs 3 verse 3. He says let truth. He said bind truth to your neck. Tie it. Number one. The belt of truth. Is the spiritual instrument. That holds all things. Of the body of Christ together. Notice what I said. That the whole all things of the armor and the body of Christ together. The belt of truth is the only, sorry, is the spiritual equipment that holds all things in the armor and the body of Christ together. Let's see Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15 to 16. But speaking the truth in what? In love may grow up into it may grow up in all things into him who is the head christ see verse 16 from whom the whole body joins and someone said join and what knit together what joins the body together is what the truth listen to me why do people wear belts on their trouser what does your belt do so if i hold a sword in my hand and i hold a shield and i don't have a belt what will happen i'll be distorted in warfare because my trust will keep going down what holds the body the armor together every piece of the weapon of god the armor of god that is why it is the first thing faith the word all these things are held together what creates a unity what's an alignment to every arm weapon in the armor you know we have the helmet of salvation what connects the helmet of salvation to the shield of faith is a belt of truth what connects the shield of faith to the sword of the spirit is a belt of truth what connects the sword of the spirit to the breastplate of righteousness is a belt of truth what connects the breastplate of righteousness to the shoes of the gospel of peace is still the belt of truth it is that core it holds everything together so if a christian does not have the belt of truth what happens the whole armor falls apart you will not speak of faith of righteousness of peace of hope if there is no truth it begins with truth it begins with truth so this this part of the weapon the armor becomes the most important why it holds all things together Listen to me. Everything in heaven is held by truth. The day that God begins to lie, heaven will collapse. What did I say? The Bible says, for God cannot lie. I mean, the day that God starts lying, everything will fall like a pack of cards. What holds God's kingdom? What is established on truth? He said, for thy truth endures forevermore. Everything about God is established on truth. That holds the body together. The reason why today, even in the church, we do not have unity is because we have not given proper place to the truth. Unity is not arm robbers coming together in, in the name of church. What will connect this ministry to another ministry is that both of us preach the truth. There can be unity with false, falsehood. We must go back to truth. Is what holds it together so it becomes relevant because without the belt of truth everything will fall down number two the belt of truth is the spiritual bond that keeps christians constantly connected to god the belt of truth is the spiritual bond that keeps christians constantly connected to God the Father, to God the Father. John 4 24. Jesus said, A time has come 
when they that worship the father worship how in spirit and in what notice hmm. the time has come when they that worship the father will worship in spirit and in truth notice truth there which means whatever you do for god which is not in truth you are out of him let me tell you something jesus said no one comes to the father except by me he now said i am the way i am the truth he showed you that when it comes to be, being with god that is why as a child of listen to me the major sign that the spirit that the soul of a christian is still influenced by the devil is the presence of lie and deception in his tongue when you lie as a christian it means that satan has an influence over your spirit satan is the father of lies anywhere there are lies it is satan that is governing lie is the government of satan that is why listen to me if you can't overcome lying you can't overcome fornication christianity begins by studying by truth once you are in the faith and you cannot subscribe to a life of truth for let me tell you satan has held you captive anywhere there is lie they must be satan i mean and no matter anywhere there are lies satan is lord is, is lord there jesus is lord where truth prevails where truth is sustained by the characters of men are you understanding me so that belt of truth therefore is that born that keeps christians constantly connected to god of the father for you to stay in remember this therefore so the day you begin to walk in deception and falsehood what happened you are disconnected to god so the belt of truth does not only hold things in the armor together it ties you to god the belt of truth is what you tie on god and tie on yourself immediately you walk in life god loses himself because god can never be part of an assembly of falsehood and lie no never whatever there is god there must be truth he said for thou O lord are a god of truth number three the belt of truth is the spiritual weapon hear me now that frustrates all the devices of the devil hmm. and the well the belt of truth is the spiritual weapon that frustrates all the devices or the spiritual device I, I prefer that frustrates all the devices of the devil and the world hear me there is nothing that can be done against the truth let us see second corinthians 13 verse 8 for we can do nothing against the truth but what talk to me but what but for the truth we can do what how many things talk to me there is nothing that can work against the truth now when I, i'll explain to you because when i say truth you are thinking of something else i'll explain to you what is truth very soon. where truth reigns satan cannot listen it doesn't matter what they use anywhere you find bondage is because lie is reigning you shall know the truth what will the truth do he said for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth you you know what you cannot fight it no matter the device the devil and the world listen to me when something is of truth there is no lie that can destroy it you know people of the world they are foolish they are stupid they don't know that when they do their things god uses it to increase us in glory a witch is going to will is doing charm to kill a pastor i don't understand it you, you are mad that this man is of the truth and you think you can use charm and kill him you will not bring your attack you will not become a testimony to paper you to. the attack they will bring to kill the man when the man overcomes it he becomes a testimony to frustrate their work again there is no weapon there is no device there is nothing formed against the truth that can prevail a man that has known the truth is now secure from all attacks of satan no matter what he does truth prevails he said we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth now the reason i want to explain truth is because satan 
everything about Satan is lie. You know, God is a God of truth. Not so. Exodus 34 verse 6. He said, for thou art abundant in truth. Psalm 33 verse 4. He said, all the works of God are done in truth. Psalm 51 verse 6. He said, God desires truth for his people. So, God is a God of truth. God works in truth and God desires truth. Listen to me. Don't forget that Satan's position is always an opposite of God's position. If God is a God of truth, Satan is who? The God of lies. I will explain lies because you don't really get to what I'm explaining well. Let us go. John 8 44, please. You are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was what? A murderer from the beginning and does not stand in there hey does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him and when he speaks a lie he speaks from his own resources for he is a liar and the father of it wait which means the busiest department in hell is the department of lie the department of lie works more than the department of sickness it works more can i say something that you accept what i want to say now if you are sick it means you believe a lie ah, is it is it nice nah, very strange i say hey ah, i'll explain soon if you are poor it means you believe a lie there is nothing like ignorance ignorance simply means that you know something else <laughs> when the bible seeks of ignorance it means absence of the knowledge of the truth an ignorant man is a man that knows something else which is not true that's what god calls ignorance if you know everything and you don't know god god calls you what ignorant are you getting me now in revelation 21 verse 9 look at so, let's see something look at it describe somebody verse 9 so the great dragon was cast out that serpent of old called the devil and satan who does what stop this is what listen to me do not underestimate his decision power this is a being that deceives angels listen what did satan tell angels that made them leave god these beings have seen God in his might and power. And Satan told them, let us fight. They say, let us fight. I didn't understand. And they went to fight. And they go fight for heaven, not before for earth. They say, let's go. Whoa, we are going. We know go agree. Oh, we know go agree. Yahweh must fall down. We, Yahweh must fall down. Satan wants to overthrow God. My problem is not Satan. It is the people that follow him say, we know go agree. Those people, those angels. You you know god who created you immortal being he was there before you he has no beginning and no end indescribable dwells in inapproachable light a god you have even angels have never seen him all they saw was his light and they had the mindset to say yes let's go and fight don't blame them there was a crafty wisdom in satan that gave him such such powers that you could deceive even the very best of angels in case you don't know mighty angels fell some angels were so mighty that till now they have been changed even god if they come out i mean they are mightier than satan if they come out god said chain them chain them if you read in the book of revelation one came out in three months he, he killed one third of the earth population go and read it what did he tell them so never underestimate satan's ability to deceive he came to eve my dear come <laughs> did god say now all that this it took a man did god say. <laughs> three words he fell all humanities today a man succeeded to deceive angels came on earth deceived the first humans he has now continued after he came and deceived judas to betray jesus after he still deceiving people today what kind of man is that i mean all these things his kingdom has never broken 
there has never been another satan like and i said no let's fight satan out of all satan's angels no one has decided to fight him the way he fought god <laughs> what am i trying to say if there is something you must remark about satan that you must that's why you need truth because satan the strength of the devil is what lie the, he has no other strength but lying and deception please stay and take note of what i'm teaching he has no other strength the strength of the devil and the foundation of his oppressions in the midst of heaven and earth is lies and deception everything he does is built on what The devil coming not but to steal kill and destroy he can only steal kill and destroy where people believe his lie that's why you need a belt of truth let me show you have you written what i said down i said what the strength of satan and the foundation of all his oppression in heaven and on earth is what lies and deception everything he does is based on lies so if a christian has not grown to understand how important truth is you can't fight don't forget my people perish for what what is lack of knowledge they don't know what the truth they may know biology they may know physics they don't know the truth listen number one satan uses lies to enslave men to himself hebrews 2 14 15 he said those who have been held made slaves all their lives by their fear of death satan projects a lie number one satan uses lies to do what to enslave men to himself anywhere there is a bondage to satan a curse a, a family power family altar it means there is a lie that has been accepted In First Thessalonians two verse ten, he said the first prophet will do lying wonders. Please, what is a lying wonder? A lying wonder is not a fake wonder. No, it is a true, true miracle. That the purpose of the miracle is to deceive you to believe in a lie. You get what I'm saying? Number two, Satan uses worldly realities and the experiences of men to validate his lies i will explain this satan uses worldly realities and the experiences of men to validate his lies jonah 2 verse 8 he says he that observes lying vanities shall forsake his own mercy now let me explain this briefly i said satan uses what worldly realities and the experiences of the flesh it's better the flesh just put the flesh there to validate his lies jonah 2 verse 8 he that observes lying vanity shall forsake his own mercy can you give me that scripture they read with me everybody they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy look at that look at this follow me follow me follow me understand what i'm explaining now the devil comes and tell you in your mind you are sick say no i'm not sick i'm not sick i cannot be sick after about three hours you feel a strong pain around your rib he now come and tell you it's kidney failure notice he used that feeling to make you believe that lie he said most of the things in your life as are buildings of lies once you accept them you become enslaved to satan do you ay, ay, can i say something i know you'll be angry you'll be angry a born again cannot be cursed can he be bewitched yes because bewitched men operate by deception but, but now satan makes you believe because of the things that happened to you in the first see a family all get any married not true not true you to know married a lie he uses things around your life he can use a dream 
he can use the feeling on your body satan will come and give you an idea he will tell you nobody loves you you now go out you greet your brother he does not hear does not answer you see you see he does not answer your greeting he does not love you be, listen be sensitive he has to use things realities to validate his lie most of the things you see are lies i tell the truth out of 199 is a lie feelings of the body so abraham what did abraham do he said abraham refused to consider the deadness of his body because abraham knew that 99 percent of symptoms of the body are things that satan want to use to validate the lie that you are sick some people are not truly sick you just need to rest and say you see satan will tell you your liver is damaged say, hey, hey. Satan, say, satan will tell you go and check your eye your eye is yellow you have to be careful and the more you go to check to confirm you will not see what he's saying because all works by faith Satan will tell you listen you can never rise you can, you can never you can you are you are limited you say you say look at your life everywhere you go people don't bless you people hate you, you say but it's true no i will rise listen to me i have refused to see this nation as a limitation i can't Kevin cannot be limited because I have not believed in the lie that nobody can rise from this nation. And I believe that from this nation, I can have an impact in the whole world and they come to know the Lord through me. Don't believe in the lie. Any man, the council, the key, any man. No! It is a lie. He wants to use those facts. He needs facts to validate a lie. So when he tells you you are sick and you don't believe it, he brings a symptom on your body. See? That numbness on your hand, he tell you, I told you that you have stroke. It's stroke that I started. Ian Unit is saying, I shall not have stroke. You have lost the battle. Why are you confessing I shall not have stroke? Who said you have stroke? You have believed what he said. He must use symptoms. He must use signs. He will use things in your life. So as a Christian, be very careful. No, do not respond to things you see quickly. He said, Abraham refused to consider the deadness of his body. His body was dead, but he knew it was not a factor when it comes to the word of God. You see? You see, every year? You, say, you see, this year will be bad. This year cannot be bad. Let nobody tell you any dream and you fear. I, I reject it. Don't, don't live in any panic. But something never start. Then they spoil. It, be careful of these lies he wants to validate something so negative experiences are devices employed by satan to validate his lies and deceive men more pastor he tells you not true pastor i don't, I don't realize say any any time way any time way I, I talk so that's what my master they talk be careful of the lie you are believing it will become your reality i don't realize say any time any time these things are lies so lie does not mean it is not real it simply means it is not real in the realm of God. It's real in the realm of Satan. Are you understanding me now? What have you believed? Wait, give me second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse, verse 12. Give me verse 11 first. See the, the beliefs in a lie. Okay, read. And for this reason, God will send them a strong delusion that they should believe what? Notice they are believing the lie. The next verse is that they may be condemned. So you can't be condemned that they may all be what? That they all may be that they all may be what? Stop, 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 stop. Hey, please, everybody look at me. Get to what I'm teaching you. You cannot be condemned if you have not believed a lie. Sickness is a condemnation. Sometimes you wake up in the morning and it's a pain in your body. It's, you, it's a, it, you shake it off. See, it can't happen. So I say, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. No, the more you give your attention to Satan, the more his oppression gains root in your life. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I so you ever start, nothing is starting. We have lost too many things because once you believe the lie, you will be condemned. You believe the lie that you are sick, you are condemned. You believe the lie that you are poor, you are condemned. In this family, nobody rises. My father did not rise. My father brother did not rise. My father auntie did not rise. No, it has nothing to do with me. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. They, listen to me. Spiritual warfare is, is, is the battle to believe the truth of God over the lies of Satan. That's warfare. You are saying, I believe what God said. I don't believe what Satan is showing me. Are you getting me? 
number three satan uses lies to plant the seed of doubt in the hearts of men genesis 3 we're not ready genesis 3 from verse 1 to 5 listen to me now anytime you find doubt in your heart what has ended what, what came Ella, are you sure that are you sure are you sure that are you sure that you are healed but it's true if i'm healed why am i still feeling pain doubt has entered so you keep entering prayer line you re-enter prayer line you go out at the church you see you come here i pray for you in the name of jesus christ you are healed amen as you go down there you see wait till are you sure you are healed notice when the prophet was praying for you he was just touching he's not touching well though. are you sure you are healed he said, but not true papa not touch me fine no papa not true papa they may look me say he shake head what do you think papa say i'm oh papa don't say i'll go die oh i'll go back you, you come again Papa, pray again for me. Something was telling me. This is the devil that spoke to you. You keep believing lies. The seed of doubt is planted by lies. So once you open it, that's why you need the belt of truth. Because lies bring doubts. There are so many things we have lost. As that 7 9 says, if you don't believe, you shall not stand at all. There are many times we fail because we believe it's a lie. People received their healing and lost it again. For example, this is peter come on this guy is walking on water on what is on water he's walking on water the sinner says oh boy see the window you go die oh bible says when peter saw the wind he said hey bible says listen bible says he began to sink notice the word he began he began he began which means it was a process the more fear took root in his heart the more he came out from the supernatural there are people who have lost marriages businesses healings miracles because they believe the lie of satan satan used that storm to validate his lie that peter would die if peter had focused on jesus christ as the truth the lie he sees around him does not have power but satan said peter see this storm so either you can look at jesus the truth or you look at the storm the lie so satan tells you they say you are hit look at it's actually dry you go die oh and i'm very serious many of us believe things in our mind i'm telling you the truth because i don't know why and I, I just have a feel like 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 my husband will die satan has been talking to you it's not a revelation from god satan is ministering to you you have entered his church yes there can be prophecy but that on our own is not god that fear because f- listen to me doubt is a seed when the tree grow the first fruit is worry the second fruit is unbelief the third fruit is fear these are all fruits of the tree planted called doubt once a man doubts god he will worry he will be afraid and you walk in unbelief number four now I'm showing you why you need the belt of truth. Are you understanding me? Eh? You know, I, talk, I told you about Satan uses, I said he frustrated all his devices, not so. I'm explaining that. Number four. You know, it's very important. Satan uses lies to cast a veil over men. And it's important. Now I want to take this, then I break it down to the next point. Second Corinthians 4, verse 4. Satan uses what? Lies to cast a veil on men. He says he has blinded their heart. Whose minds the God of this age has blinded. What does he put on their heart? A veil. You hear me? I'm not telling you how we need to get the better truth. There is a veil over humanity. Isaiah 25 verse 7 says, On this mountain he will destroy the veil cast over all the people imagine our days people are voting that man should marry man uh, in fact now they in in church on churches now man marries man in church that they come there they bless man and man in some churches in the western where papa is a man mama is a man and uh, what you hear them doing 
interview, they say, oh, I, you look at it. What has happened to them? They have believed a lie. There is a veil. We are living in a system that is full of, it is, it, ay, 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 ay. it is corrupted. Only those that know the truth are, can break out of this system. You see a family, nobody can rise. There is a veil over them. The one person that will come to the knowledge of the truth will break out of that matrix. We break out of that system. Yes, a family, no girl can marry until a girl will come that will know the truth and put on the belt of truth. None will break out. It's only by the truth that men come out from this veil of that. They say veil. A veil cast over Africa. Cast over nations. Cast over men. By this veil, Satan controls every activity under the veil. And as long as you live under there, you are their servant. That's why he says, arise and shine for your light has come. He said, on the people, darkness covers them. See, he said, he says, thick, thick darkness covers the people. Darkness covers the world. He said, but on you, what is light? Light is true. So no matter the darkness of preaching, if a man can know the truth, he has light. Look at the way people dress now. People, many of you have believed the lie. You are dressing like them. You have believed the lie. Lies everywhere. So, what is the belt of truth? Hear me. The belt of truth is simply the knowledge of the truth. What is the belt of truth? That's all. The belt of truth is what? The knowledge of the truth. Is it not simple? So when he says, put on the belt of truth, it means know the truth. What is the belt of truth? Now let me explain this. Listen to this. Say, I know the truth. I can't hear your voice. Let's go now. What is the belt of truth? What is the belt of truth? I didn't say the hearing of the truth. <laughs> there are people in church who don't know the truth. They think they know. Let us move. Have you written that down? What is the belt of truth? The belt of truth is what? The knowledge of the truth. John 8:32. You shall know the truth. It means you shall tie the belt. And that belt will make you free. Belt just means you shall fasten yourself with the truth. What is... Now, let's move ahead. What is truth? Listen to me very well. The truth exists in three forms. Number one, the truth is a person. In bracket, Jesus. John 14 verse 6 he said I am the way the truth and the what and the life so forms of the truth number one is what the person number one the truth exists as the person in bracket Jesus you hear me but the Bible says you shall know the truth it doesn't mean you shall know the Bible the truth that means you shall know Jesus and Jesus will make you uh, free Number one, the truth exists as well. As a person, who is who? Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the... So, the first, when it comes to, the first way is to know Jesus. Any person that knows Jesus knows the truth. He is the truth. I didn't say he has the truth. He is the truth. So, truth is what? A person. Which means, hear me. I love you, hear me. Look at me. It's important you understand what I'm saying. The only way to measure what is false is to judge it to jesus christ if you look at your life anything in your life that was not in jesus is a lie sickness is a lie not because it is not real but because it is not real in jesus understand what i'm teaching you whatever jesus did not have jesus is the perfect image of god every matter must be 
Jesus is the only parameter, the only divine indice by which every matter is weighed in the eyes of God. If you want to know what is truth, put the thing and put Jesus. When we have this understanding, then freedom has begun. This thing that has happened to me, that's why you need to know him. Is this how Jesus is? Does Jesus fornicate? So what is fornication? Is a lie. Are you understanding me now? Is Jesus a bitter person? Does he walk in unforgiveness? So what's unforgiveness? A lie. So whenever you find yourself doing the things which do not agree with Christ revealed, it means you are walking in what? In a lie. Let Jesus become your mirror. Do not measure your Christianity with your pastor. Or which another member in church measure your Christianity with who? Why? Is the truth? I am not hearing you. Who is the truth? Jesus. 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 So when I say you shall not be sick, do you know why I say so? Because Jesus is not sick. Are you understanding me? You shall not be poor it's not poor so my teachings my prophecies my life must agree with who jesus christ remember what i said i said jesus is what the only divine parameter and spiritual in the indies by which every matter is weighed in the sight of god to know if it is truth don't talk a lot check jesus christ if i preach anything in this church to know if i'm lying or speaking the truth Go and check what Jesus preached. If what I am preaching does not agree with what he said, I am lying. Doesn't matter how it came out, it's a lie. A lie is whatever does not agree with who? Jesus. Number two, the second form that truth exists is as the opinion of God. In bracket, his word. Number one, truth exists as who? As a person. Number two, as the opinion of God in bracket the word of God show me John 17 verse 17 sanctify them by your truth your your word is truth sanctify them by your truth what is truth now everybody look here look at me take this serious now I want you to get this thing now whatever you hear whatever you see that does not agree with the bible it is what somebody was sick and i was praying for the person and somebody came and said sir i had a dream that this person died and i laughed i said it can't happen listen the person was i mean sick like very very sick like sick sick physically sick doctor said this no this sickness has no cure I said, you cannot die. You know why? The scripture said, He said, Our days shall be 70 or 80. I said, Father, the truth says that the least a man should die is 70 or 80. This man is not yet 40. He cannot die. The matter, you see, that's how I settled the case. I didn't shout for long. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, settle. Next one hour, everything balanced back. Listen, listen, I'm not, I'm, it's not, I'm not giving my testimony. I want to show you something. When you stand for the truth, you destroy the lies of Satan. Why are you believing that you will die? Because everybody gender has died. Their dream is not the Bible. I'm not saying their dreams can be a revelation, but sometimes revelations are unveilings of what Satan wants to do, not God. God can expose the plans of Satan so you can stand on the truth and overcome it. Stop believing lies. The truth is God's opinion. If the Bible says I'm blessed, I'm blessed. You, you hear when I say, I, 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 yes, Satan. Matthew 3 from 17. Yes, yeah, yeah, God. This is my son, my beloved son. God is speaking. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Next verse. Yes, Satan. If 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 you, you are if you are the son of God, turn these stones into bread. You know what? Listen. Listen to me very well. Hear your mistake. 
all of us are being trapped to prove the scripture don't prove anything beware of proof that's why you enter line you don't have to prove that you are healed believe it and it is so i'm teaching you about proof give you an example of god prove that jesus says we don't we are not proving anything here i am the son of god close many of us are falling in that trap uh, if if is that if it, how can the pastor be saying that i'm not cursed when every day i'm seeing myself in the village no i'm saying i'm not cursed not because of your experience but because of the bible the bible says he has delivered them from the power of satan what should i preach we are not called to preach people's experience we are called to preach the revelation of scripture which means there are many times what you are going through will not agree with what i'm preaching but i am preaching what i'm preaching so that what you are going through can become what i am preaching do you get what i'm saying so when we meet the sick we preach healing to them so we tell a sick man you are here the sick man say hey, no papa I'm, I'm, I'm sick i say you are here papa no i'm sick papa i beg pray papa i beg papa serious i'm serious, I'm serious. you are here papa well, i'm not here man they all, papa. you see that unbelief you are here yes i'm here what happens they become you become what you believe believing is the only way of becoming know the opinion of god i'm not talking about prophecy yes prophecy is one of the areas to give god's opinion god says your name is abraham for i have made you a father of nations a man that does not that has one child is a father of nations is god lying no have you believed what god told you listen i had a vision I had a crusade it was at a stadium it was full with white men oh boy with all my heart i know and all of you are my witnesses the day i will have a crusade somewhere in europe somewhere or in brazil and you find stadium jam-packed remember what i told you now that i have chosen to believe the prophecies god gave me beyond what i go through there are many times i have seen so many troubles in my life and I asked myself, how will what God say come to pass? And the Holy Spirit replied me, he said, don't be a fool, believe. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. God does not need to take advice from your circumstance before he does his will. He's God by himself. Believe what he has said. So a woman is physically barren. That's an experience, barrenness. Then she dreams. She gave back to a child. She wake up. He said, hey, I am a me somewhere. It is finished from that day the name stays it doesn't matter if she's bleeding and seeing her messes she can call herself mommy samuel for 10 years but eventually samuel will come because when you are belief you will become yeah. believing is not making as if it is true that's wrong believing is accepting that it is true even when it does not agree with what you are going through yes yeah, somebody says just make as if you are rich that's not believing that's fake make as if you are here and you'll be here no i'm not making as if i am healed that is my spiritual reality on my body there may be a sickness but in my spirit i am healed and before it time will come you see if the spirit that raised comes from the dead it will vitalize your mortal body so what happens to your body depends on the reality of your spirit truth is what the opinion of god number three form of truth is as a spirit in bracket the holy spirit john 16 13 jesus said when the spirit of truth shall come when what when who will come talk to me talk to me now I'll show something very strange however when he the spirit of truth has come he will guide you into all truth for he will not speak on his own authority but whatever he hears he will speak and he will tell you the things to come what will he do let me tell you something <laughs> one time i was watching a man of god are you blessed and a man of god said <laughs> second Corinthians 8 verse 9 where he says you say he read it for you know the grace of our lord jesus christ that though he was rich for your sake he became poor that you through his poverty might become rich who knows that scripture put your hand up you know it then the man said he said i can never i can never borrow 
They meet and say, I can never borrow. The next day I borrowed. Watch. I read the truth. What happened? Without the spirit, truth cannot be reality. You will know that the truth says, by his stripes you are healed, but you live in the lie of sickness until the spirit comes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That is why when we teach, you have to pray. Favor is my name. I don't worry about tomorrow. You will worry. Because you can confess favor. You can read the scripture. You have to now pray. It is prayer that engages the spirit of truth to bring men into the experience of the truth. I am the way. When I am the truth, I now move to the life until truth becomes life. Your testimony is not there. There are people who have truth. They don't even have life. What brings life? Jesus said, it is the spirit that brings life. The words I speak, they are what? Spirit. Friend, you have to pray. That vision that God showed you, that's why you won't say, Pastor, I don't understand. No, I need a child. But every day I'm only dreaming that I'm having children. I say, Madam, you need to pray. You may read the Bible and hear the truth. I can preach it. You can say, Isaiah 53, verse 5, by his stripes I'm here. As Acts 10, verse 38, and God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost of our power. He went about doing good, healing all those oppressed. Matthew 8, 17, Matthew 8, 17 he carried their infirmity and took their sorrow and healed them. And you are still sick. You know what you lack now? Prayer. Prayer. Take one scripture, pray it for one month, see what will happen to you. I mean, one, not take two, three, one. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. Jesus, no matter what comes my way, you are always there for me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. Listen, you will start moving from knowledge to conviction. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego know? They say, put me inside fire, we no go born. Fire? Are you seeing fire? They have entered a realm where fire is like air. What happened to these men? These men are men of prayer. What happened to a man like Paul? A viper bite his hand. He did not pray. He did not say, bring me anointing water or bring me anointing oil. He shook it up. Did not even confess scripture. Because you know, Mark 16, 17, they shall pick up serpents, deadly serpents, and nothing shall harm them. A man so believed a scripture, he became a life. Until truth becomes life, experience is not present. You hear people say, I've gone to this pastor, do you want to pray for me? So some of you, this is, that is why I want to change something this year. I'm no longer interested in you just coming here every day and writing all the things I preach. Messages are not to be kept in a book. They are to be translated into a life. I can't preach favor and you write it and you don't have favor. I can't preach wisdom. You write the notes, you don't have wisdom. Something is wrong. I am the way. Yes, I am the truth. Then I am the life. When it comes to the life, it is the spirit from on high. Somebody has to pray. You have to pray. I said, no, Lord, your servant prophesied to me. Your servant said that the cancer in my mother is dead. Even though doctors are saying that the cancer is multiplying. You say, no, the prophet said that cancer is dead. And you begin to pray. As you are praying, the spirit of truth come upon the truth and make it a life. Balakashabaya. There are things that God has shown you, my God. There are visions you have seen. It is waiting for you to pray. Listen to me. It's not enough to hear the truth. To know. A man has to pray. Because there are people that know Jesus. The truth. Jesus enters into my heart. They pray. They f- there are people that know the scripture. But check their life. When you see a man who preaches the Bible. And leave a contradiction to the Bible. Spirit has not come. The most important aspect of truth. Is when he becomes a spirit. I said it the other day. I said, with all the prayers that we people are praying, the way the way is not changing, something must be wrong somewhere. Either God is deaf or God has gone on retirement, or the people who are praying are praying to themselves. Look at how people pray all night everywhere, fasting, but things don't change. How can Christians gather in a church? and pray for a member the member see die 
did the Bible not say if two or three of you agree on anything it shall be done how can people hold their hand and pray for a member the member still die these are people who are who are asking for something to happen that they have not entered the spirit so you don't understand that but that Bible talking about Bible talking about my life there so you have to go back spend Kai, turn your night to prayer. Pray. Listen to me. Keep saying, my year of short mercies. He has not yet entered, though. It has, it has not yet, it has not yet entered. The fact that you heard me say, even me here, yeah, even me, short mercies has not entered me. We see, listen. The Lord told me short mercy in September 2023. September. I said, why? He said, because I'm giving you four months to prepare. I took four months to study on mercy, pray on mercy, pray any. You see, there is no scripture in the Bible on mercy. I don't know. Everyone, I know them. I pray, confess them. You know why? Because I want it to become a spirit. When it becomes a spirit, it begins to drive you. Listen to me. The day you will see me prophesying by spirit, leave this thing I'm saying and say, Your name is Mary. You are not seeing when it comes. When it when it's a spirit, <laughs> I'm not asking who is. There is no who is. I'm telling you that this is this person your father is john this is a spirit i am being carried in the realm of god if the day you see me on prayer line in the spirit not in the gifts you'll be shocked what happens nobody can withstand the anointing listen to me many of you have received prophecy it has not become spirit you read bible the lord the shall not lack you can't pay rent listen to me it does not mean the bible light the fact that christians get sick and die it does not mean that the, when the bible says we are healed by strife it like no the reason why many people are not in the experience of what the bible said the spirit has not come it's jesus says so wait until the spirit from on high come when the spirit come Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing we are dropping in church. My God, look at how Christians are suffering, are in pain because pastors need to labor. Listen to me. Hear me. I want to say this. Learn this today. There are men of God. If they pray for you, your life will change. Stop. You know why? They have entered spirit. They will quote the same scripture the other pastor quoted, they will use the same name of Jesus. The other pastor used as it. This pastor quoted Isaiah 3, verse 5. By his stripes, you are healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. You were not healed. And Amakama says, Isaiah 3, verse 5, you are healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Then you now get healed. You know what happened? This other pastor is where? It's in spirit. If they tell you you are blessed, <laughs> Apostle John Suleiman, if he tell you God bless you, <laughs> it, is, it happens in minutes. Minutes. I enter somebody's office. Kevin, how are you? God bless you. As I'm leaving his door, somebody send me see three million. I mean, I'm, I sit there for door. Say, Papa, just remember you. You just remember me, but now, now, now. You know why? These are men that are in spirit. Spirit, not, not letter. Spirit. There are people who preach truth. They cannot bring men to the experience of truth because spirit has not come. Turn and begging you pray. Declare yourself, show mercy. Show mercy. I cannot die. Show mercy. No accident. Once you are pray, 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 pray. You know what? You will not stop praying. You will not enter the thanksgiving. In no fear happen. You say, you say, Listen to that. No, my mother will not die. They see the prayer. Once you pray, it becomes spirit. You stop praying. You become, Father, thank you. This is, this is, how can a man be dead for four days? And yeah, yeah, another person. Father, thank you that you always hear me. This man is dead. We are thanking God. No, he has entered spirit. Lazarus has no choice. No matter where they tie him in hell, he must come back because spirit has come. It is the spirit that gives life. People read books on how to have a good marriage and that marriage is bad. It's not because the book lies. It's because they have the knowledge without the spirit. They come from minister's conference seven keys to church growth that church is not growing because they don't understand that beyond what that pastor is preaching there is spirit that makes it work there is spirit it is spirit that makes principles work you will study all seven keys to make your husband love you you will do all the key the door will not open because it is spirit that makes keys work spirit that's why hmm. do you know some people give their tithes and they are poor when the Bible says, bring your tithes, I will open the windows of heaven. So how do we give tithes and we are poor? He said, number two, give your tithes, I will rebuke the devourer. But when people give tithes 
and they have not entered the realm of spirit you know you say i don't give my money for church nothing ever happened it's because they gave with that spirit my prayer today is that the spirit of truth shall come yeah. jesus said when the spirit of truth shall come he said you will see something he will guide you into what not one all truth truth of healing forget they caught a man of god assassins came to kill him in his house they gave him acid to drink he said father thank you for this juice listen true story and drank the acid a c i d maybe you don't understand what i'm saying acid they look at them he said i'm, I'm fine they said mark 16 17 they shall drink deadly thing he shall not harm them now i'm not saying go and drink it also that is a listen that is a man who has read that scripture they shall drink deadly thing he has entered life is there any tree that mosquito can bite and the tree has malaria <laughs> is there any tree if even the tree bites the mosquito bite the tree like take it the tree says i dodge and i can't be sick when you enter a realm it cannot happen i mean it cannot I'm Robert Smith, I'm a Suleiman. They shot him. Bullet pierced all the suit. Bullet ate whole. His body, not to enter. Say, a man like me cannot take my life. <laughs> don't be talk. They don't enter a spree. No be to say, I cannot die. I cannot die. A man die. Are you die? No. Once you have entered spirit, you're con Spirit. Lord, this is a new year. I will not fornicate again. Tomorrow they are fornicating. They don't have spirit. When you have spirit, you are able. There are people who want to serve God, but there is no spirit. So they know it is good to serve the Lord. They know the truth. They decide to do it until the spirit comes from on high. My prayer. Listen to me. Until I've gotten to the realm of spirit, there is no belt of truth. It's only talk, talk, quoting scripture. It's only talk. That's how we talk it and we fail. Until spirit comes, it is the spirit that gives life it is the spirit that brings reality people of god when i was taken to heaven my god forget what i saw there and and i kept hearing the voice may it be done on earth as it is in heaven if you know how it is in heaven sickness is an it, it, it is enough it is not possible the atmosphere is so pure and i am shocked that that holy spirit can dwell in our in our spirit and our body is sick it's not because the spirit is weak there's a problem of knowledge and spirit christians don't want to pray they keep copying notes and can't keep the book nobody go and say this thing the pastor preach i need to see it this favor i need to see and begin to pray i am the favor of the lord i am the favor of the lord i am the favor of the lord and you so pray to you come to the place that you have no other name but favor you know that 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 nothing can kill you. Say, I feel that I don't feel that. Yeah, they can talk. A man cannot be pregnant. When you get into a realm, you say, I cannot be sick. It nothing happen. I can't. Bishop David Epo, he said, I cannot be poor. You think he was lying? He started saying, I cannot be poor when he was living in a one room house with his wife and about two room house with his wife and many, about seven pastors. I cannot be poor. Look at where you stay, no. Two room house, 90, about 1978. Two room house with whom your wife and seven pastors. I cannot be poor. They were laughing at him. But today, <laughs> today, forget. Once you have caught that thing, it does not matter what you see. You become blind to what the world shows you. So, how do you fasten the belt of truth? Number one, you must hear the truth. Ephesians 1 13. You must hear the truth the more you hear lies the more your mind is enslaved to satan in him you also have trusted you have what you, you have what trusted after you have heard the word of what should stop 
the God, let's continue. In him you also have trusted, after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also you have believed. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you were done what? You were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Please hear me. Please, I'm sorry I'm rushing because I want us to pray. Look at this. Hi. Please, I'm begging you. I'm trying to make this simple as possible. You can't spend your time watching worldly movies. You know, say, I cannot be sick. You will be sick. You have filled your mind with lie. I brought out a prayer book with prayers for mercy. I brought out a hymn book. You know why? Keep yourself surrounded with truth. What have you kept in your phone? These are, you know, Christians, they will, they will believe a lie for six days. Do you think when I come down and say, I believe I'm favored? The whole week you have lived in lies, movies, worldly music, carnal music, worldly things, nakedness, all these kind of things, anger, bitterness. You think one day is not enough? One day is not enough. It's not enough. It becomes it become a life. So listen to me. If you want to have the best of God's will for your life on earth, it's, it is not, there's no other choice. Hear the truth. Faith comes by what? I hear, hear the truth friend the lord bear me witness when the devil came after my health 2022 i listened to over one i'm not exaggerating more than 1000 messages on healing me i sleep with it i'll put it i listen i so much heard it that with that prayer symptoms began to disappear on their own i but i had prayed listen to me i tell you the truth i swear i prayed i even cried it did not go i cried i even tried to bribe god for i'm your servant your servant you know go i cried you so can start when i began to listen to messages i would hear man of god saying i cannot be sick i'll hear that message the, listen i forget I, I i still have them i have all the messages i have i, I get them archive I read over 700 books on healing sometimes when I, if i'm feeling weak or tired or play this on healing i'll just be hearing it hi forget i tell the truth hi, 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 hi. i just listen you are healed christ died for you but hi a day came it was in the night and i can never forget i stood up i said i can never be sick again and from that day it became so listen i i so i don't know i just i said ah, i can never i finally came to where i was i, I had fully convicted hear the truth my application all down for, for the family woman they married yet to marry they begin she 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 grows with that kind of nonsense tell your child you are the light of the world you are the best listen to me even if you are poor Give your child a chance to have a good life. Expose them to the truth. Tell your child you are the best. Nobody can bring you down. You cannot be overcome. You have power in you. You are great. As your child is hearing that truth, it shocks them. Number two, believe the truth. That's how you know the truth, right? Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Let's see verse... 11 and for this reason god has god will send a strong delusion on them that they should not believe that they should believe the lie that they all may be condemned who did not believe there tell somebody believe the truth to believe the truth means what to accept the truth you are here what do you do i accept i'm here believe it means what accept even if what i am experiencing does not look like what he said i accept do you understand me Tell somebody believe the truth. Number three, love the truth. Second Thessalonians chapter two verse ten. There are many people who don't love the truth. Now to love the truth means to love Jesus. All right, to love the Word, to love the Holy Spirit, and with all righteousness, deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. What will save them? Love of the truth. And number four, walk in the truth. 
3 John chapter 1 verse 4 I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in listen as I end with this all of you look here if you still practice unforgiveness you are walking in a lie listen to me let me teach you why sometimes you don't find your authority in Christ walking a sister comes to tempt you or a brother comes to tempt you for, for you to have sexual intercourse with them and you do not resist the day the spirit of sickness will come you will not be able to resist to have power to resist spirit of sickness resist spirit of immorality something happens in your home in your family in your church and you can't forgive you choose the way of hatred grudges offense hardness of heart the day the devil will come like oh how this thing happened to me you know pray in the name of jesus leave believe me satan says since when do you have authority you have to be careful now learn how to walk in the truth don't know the truth and walk in a lie which listen to me my prayer is this that immorality should be banished from aging that we will, we will so mature that in our in our midst there shall be no fornication no adultery no pride no lying no stealing no backbiting not envy not no bitterness pure love pure i mean pure love in the purest form we walk in the truth where if your brother offends you tell him you did me wrong i'm sorry it's okay no you did me wrong you have to explain why you did me wrong explain explain again explain 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 that's pride unforgiveness is pride forgiveness looks like god anger bitterness strife so much of bitterness we want people to need that and beg out before we forgive them in fact we only forgive when people explain to our satisfaction pride we still fight we still bite bite we still gossip in church we are not walking when you walk in truth there is no gossiping there is no fornication i mean these things are gone they, they live a kind of life publicly and privately where there is nothing to be ashamed of don't come and wave your hand in church in the night you hide in your room put off lights you watch pornography what is that no live a life that is clear because listen to me i'm telling you one day it will matter when you will stand before demons and command them they will not listen to you if you cannot rebuke the spirit of immorality you cannot rebuke the spirit of infirmity if you can't rebuke the spirit of anger of, of if you cannot resist that prompting to be angry to be to be to bear grudges to hate to be jealous to be envious you know say in the name of jesus christ prosperity come it will not come your words lost power when you when you succumb to those spirits walk in truth what we preach should become your lifestyle what you read in the bible should become your lifestyle you can never be wrong by obeying the bible never what did you not say you shall know the truth and the truth will do what set you free you will hear it you believe it you love it you walk in it what will you see freedom stand on your feet